Hi everybody, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. We are back with Hidden Mysteries, Buckingham Palace. I did this one up until the demo, and I decided to get it. It's very old, and it's kind of janky, but it is fun, so I, I kind of want to see where this is going. It didn't really make a lot of sense, but it was kind of cool. Let's go. This should bring us back to where we left off, she says optimistically. On my screen, this is such an old game. It's from 2008. On my screen, it's like probably half the size of the full um, Twitch stream screen. And the lettering is kind of tiny. Welcome to Buckingham Palace, an adventure that peel- Wait a minute, we already did this part. I'm 100% positive we already did that part. If we have to start at the beginning, we're going to do something else. Is there a different... Was I player the first time? Oh no! Oh, this is very sad. What happened to my saved game? No! I don't want to play the whole thing over again. Huh. I mean, I guess I could speed through this part. This has a sad. I actually kind of love games where it doesn't matter what you click on. Well, you can stream of consciousness fast through what I already did. That's kind of what I was thinking. Kind of irritating, though. I don't know. Just randomly clicking on things at the moment. If we can get through this this fast for the whole thing, then I will consider it. Uh, I forgot what I was doing already. And my brain's not very with it tonight, so maybe this is, like, better for everyone. Look at that old remote. It's so funny. My grandmother had a remote control that was wired to the VCR. With this long... Uh, yeah, I'm having trouble because I'm not looking. Mind your own business game. Is that a bagpipe? I don't know what that is. Shh. Hmm. All right, paintbrush, screw, and phone. Here's a brush brush. I'm pretty sure I've done this twice already, so you'd think I would know where stuff was. I wonder if they change it each time. Oh, there's a screw. Um, sometimes games like these, it'll give you random items as opposed to like a set thing. That's a camera, not a phone. There's the phone. That's an old chunky one. And a paintbrush. I, I can use a hint for. Where's the hints? Am I missing something? There's no hint button. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess I never used a hint in this game before. Wait. Did anyone see that? Oh, there it is, right in front of my face. Okay, next. We might be able to get through this pretty fast. I think this is the same kind of... Yeah, I know, shush. Do, do, do. I remember doing this the first time. And we're not going to read the notes because we already did that. If you want to watch what already happened, you can catch up in the first episode on my YouTube channel, which is the same name as this, I'm pretty sure. You'd think I'd know that. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. It's been a long day. Kind of stressful. I thought I'd just sit and play a nice little game of find the weird objects in the weird game, but no. 
All right, so we need a fan, a headphones, fishing lure, moon, and tomato. Maybe tomato. There's a fishing lure. And headphones and moon. That's not a moon, that's a claw. There's a moon. There's headphones. See the fan. It's so weird. I've probably mentioned this before if you've been here before, but since I'm playing this game so small, I can see the main screen and then outside my screen, I can see like, I don't know, three quarters of, well, one quarter of the screen again. So as I move my mouse at the very edge, I see two mice or pointers rather. And one of them is going really slow. Oh, there's the silhouette. Okay. Super wasn't actually paying attention. I thought that's what it was looking. Why can't I see this? Did you notice how I'm talking over myself? That's how you know it's been a long day. There it is. Okay, this is the arch. And I forget what I'm supposed to be doing because I didn't read the directions. Oh, we have to use items. Right. We have to put this back in the name and then we have to figure out the puzzles. And I bet I will re won't remember again. I clicked the extra center of the Is there any insight to about joining something sits? See? Probably not. That's great. I And there's the nose. This is where I stopped the first time. Come on, I want to press on the nose. Oh, I have to tickle the nose with the feather. Bless you. And I get a gem. Yay! And, okay. Let's go here, I guess. I can't remember what order I did this. I think I did this the other order last time. Do, 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 do. One of these levels that's coming up on um, the secret passageway, if you hadn't watched this before. I'm sorry if that's an annoying noise. I don't know how to turn that off. Yay, a leather riding crop. Right, what am I looking for? Uh, okay, now everything is visible though. Wait, I remember where the camera is. It was over here. Ha ha! That's one of the items we need. I can remember where items are in a game, I guess, but I uh, can't remember where or what a very simple phrase is. Microphone. Do, 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 do. I'm just trying to get through this really fast. I don't know if this is a successful attempt at that, but... Huh, what was that? Am I supposed to be finding crowns or something? I totally missed that in the first game. <laughs> or the first playthrough. <laughs> Onion. The onion is right there. It took me forever to find that stupid onion the first time. Wait, I just saw men's room. There it is. Wristwatch and a rubber chicken. The history of the rubber chicken is fascinating, by the way. That's also in my first video. <laughs> well, at least there's a link in my first video. I think I talked about it briefly, that I was wondering what was going on with rubber chickens and why they were a thing. I don't know why I thought that was going to help. There it is. Okay. Let's do the secret passage. Okay. There's the box I need later. The the first time I played through um the Oh yeah, I must have to be finding crowns. I don't remember that being part of the game. <laughs> I are smart. The first time I played through this, there, there's another bit where we're back in this room. I'm using hand motions. That's not going to help anyone. 
Um, and I was supposed to put a gem on this box and I couldn't find the gem anywhere because I didn't have the gem. I thought I needed the one in my inventory. And uh, yeah, it, it was right in front of me, which you will see in a very short while. Uh, there it is. Good. Well, this is much faster than the last time. I wonder if... Oh, yeah, I guess I was supposed to find crowns. I totally missed that in my first and second uh, attempt at this. Though, again, I played it... Um, that noise is annoying me. I hope it's not annoying you as much. Donut. I want a donut. I kind of always want a donut. Like, that is one of the foods that I could eat all the time. Oh, wait, I almost clicked off the map again. There we go. Or screen, rather, not map. I forgot what I was saying already. Donuts! I could eat donuts all the time. I don't know. They're delicious. Probably a good thing I don't eat donuts all the time. Oh, now my screen is going to go dark. Hang on one moment. I have a blue light filter on my uh, monitor that turns on at 10.30 to remind me I'm supposed to go to bed because I stay up too late. And I always forget to turn it off when I'm doing a nighttime Let's Play. Like every single time I've forgotten to turn it off. I don't think you guys can see it because it's just for my, um, my monitor. But it makes it really hard to see everything else. All right, what am I actually looking for? Key lamp, cotton swab, bow. When they say cotton swab, they mean like a Q-tip, right? Probably. Is it a thermometer? Bow. Uh, key lamp, cotton swab. Lamp. I do not see a cotton swab. And a key. See, I like this this type of of the old style, there's a key, of this old style game. I do not know where the cotton swab is though. Oh, is it sideways? That's a baseball bat. Is it actually sideways though? Oh, there it is, it's on the fireplace. There, these are um, random items. Some of them are the same, but I remember not ever finding that. This is the puzzle. This is the one I was telling you about in the last room. So, see, okay. So I'm supposed to go over here and see it's missing a gem. So I'm supposed to go in here and I'm supposed to put glue down. Let's see. And then I'm, well, come on. Then I'm supposed to find the gem. I literally spent 10 minutes looking for this gem. It might have been longer than that. It's over here. Oh, be quiet. If you look, it'll sparkle. See, now the, the thing is glowing purple. Are you going to sparkle or are you going to make me look like a liar? Totally not going to sparkle, is it? All right. Oh, there it goes. It sparkled. And you use that to get the geode out. And for some reason, inside the geode is a gem that is exactly the shape I need it to be. Which doesn't make any sense. But that's okay. All right. I think... Well, I guess we got through this really fast. Um... <clears throat> The, uh, the kitchen is where uh, my time ran out when I was playing through the first time. Um, what was that crown? Huh. Who knew? Probably me if I'd read the directions. Someday I'll learn that lesson. Is that one too? Oh, any crown! Oh, interesting. Come on, I just want to get to the part I haven't played yet. Yeah, I remember uh, the kitchen being the last one because the la I was looking for the last item in the... Um oh wait, I know where the paintbrush is. There it is. Um, I was looking for the last item in the kitchen and it was a knife. And I was looking and I was looking and I couldn't find it. And then suddenly my time ran out. And 
I was very disappointed because I wanted to find the last item. But now I get to. I have no idea why it erased my game. That really irritates me. Um, usually they're pretty good about not erasing games. I am not looking for things. There we go. Rab uh, uh, no, that's not a rabbit's foot. That's a staple remover. I'm looking for a lighter. There's the rabbit's foot. Looking for a lighter. Lighter, lighter, lighter. Ah, there it is. Um, but yeah, so looks like we'll get through this pretty fast. What's it been? 20 minutes. Yeah, it's kind of lame, but. Do, 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 do. There's a cow. Cows don't belong on the roof. And the bunny, spoon, basketball. What do I got here? Oh, a soccer ball. I thought I saw a soccer ball. Yep, there it is. Another cotton swab. Why are you giving me hard things to find? There's the plunger. Ribbon, footprint, fork, right there, and a cotton swab. Oh, there it is. Cool beans. All right. One more room. Yep, one more room, and then the kitchen, and then we are caught up. Okay. Imagine living in a place that looked like this. Be afraid to touch anything. Oh, I don't know how much of the stuff they touch. I guess most of it's just to look at. I feel like living in a museum, though. It'd be so weird. Granted, you wouldn't have to clean it, so that's a perk. A bagel. Bagels are also yummy, but not as yummy as donuts. And yes, I will fight you over that. I'm specifically addressing Aut Punk if she ends up ever seeing this. Where's that? There's Top Hat. Bagels are her true love these days. Where's the lightning? There it is. Okay. Good. So now we are caught up. Um, so I'm going to start reading the stuff. Kitchen. More than 50,000 people visit the palace each year as the queen's guests at banquets, luncheons, dinners, receptions, and garden parties. The Buckingham Palace kitchen is able to serve a sit-down meal to as many as 600 people at a time. Sounds like fun. I've been to one, like, big fancy banquet when I was in chef school. And it was really cool. I actually cooked for it, too, so I helped with prep before the, uh, the banquet, and then I got to sit down and eat the yummy food. Which is really the only way to fly if you want to cook stuff. Well, this is going much faster than the first time. What am I looking for? I suppose I should probably look. Okay, so Apple, no smoking clock. Well, I hope the clock's not smoking. Uh, I already forgot. Apple. Aha! And, just so you know I remember... There's the kitchen knife! Yay, we got it! A well-balanced and dangerously sharp chopping knife. Or cutting knife, or slicing knife. Alright, this is the new part! Yay! Queen's Gallery. Several of these paintings are no longer in their correct spots. They need to be replaced. The central portrait of Queen Anne is certainly the focal point of the particular of this particular cluster of portraits. Do they have to be looking at her? Yeah, okay. There. And there. Let me see. Um. Okay. I would have put them the other way around, but that's fine. What is this? A candle just fell from the fr frame. That's weird. A simple beeswax candle. Why would you hide a candle in a picture frame? Uh, Alright, let's see what we got here. 
That's the stuff we were just playing with. There's the candle holder. Ah, oh, that's where the candle goes. Anybody could put a candle there, though. That's not a very good... It's too tall to fit in with the other candles. You want to give it a complex. <laughs> sure, okay. I guess we're cutting it then. Okay. If this is like a secret entrance sort of door, I don't know how this would end up staying secret for very long. Ooh. Yeah, no, they just had like... It's the yellow sapphire of Suriname. Apparently AM knows what he's talking... He or she is talking about. Yeah, see, I think that someone would have found that a lot earlier. Act four. That's three down. What's most puzzling is the location of these jewels. If the objective was to keep them out of royal hands, why hide them in the belly of the beast? And in really easy spots to find. So this is act four. We have one, two, three, four, five gems left. I'm not sure if there'll be one gem per act, but I guess we'll see. All right, where should we go first? Let's do the one we already did already first. The Royal Mews were originally located at the Charing Cross and commonly known as the King's Mews. They were moved onto palace grounds by George IV shortly after Buckingham Palace was chosen as the primary royal residence and Trafalgar Square was built in their stead. It is really hard to read when the words are that small. All right, let's see, we need hay. Oh, a handful of slightly damp hay. Whatever you say. Uh, shoehorn, remote control, glasses, and toy blocks. There's the blocks. All right, let's see, a shoehorn. Oh, I was gonna click off the map again. It's not a map, it's a screen. I don't know why I keep saying that either. Probably brain malfunctions. Okay, where were we? Remote control, grasses, grasses, glasses, pine cone, and a donut. Another donut. Oh, and there's a crown. I have to remember to find crowns because I didn't do that last time. Where's the remote? There's an accordion. That is not a remote. There it is. Glasses. Donut. Ooh, a chocolate frosted donut. Wristwatch. Fork. I don't remember finding a fork on this page. Syringe statue. Oh, there's a statue. Microphone is over here. Rubber chicken. I almost forgot where it was. Oh, there's a syringe. Hot dog is down here. Dynamite. Oh, I was kind of hoping we would get to use the dynamite this time. Uh, and a fork. Where's the fork? Fork, 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 fork. Oh, there's another little crown. Ha 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 ha. I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for those the first time. Though I didn't, I don't think I used any hints the first time either, though. But then I, did I have someone who was watching me and pointing stuff out at that point? I don't remember. Okay, let's use a hint since we're finding all the little things. Okay, I don't know why I expected that to look different than a fork. There it is. Yay. Okay. Next, do we want to go to the Garden Pavilion, the Marble Hall, or the King's Writing Room? Well, I am into writing, so let us do that. Ooh, this is cool. King's Writing Room. This room served as inspiration for the letter writing of King George, among other sovereigns. It's decorated with gifts and souvenirs received from every continent on Earth. Neat. I don't see a desk, though. That seems like it would be kind of important if you had a writing room. All right, let's see. Spearhead camera bowling pin dinosaur. I want a dinosaur. There's elephant. Spearhead camera bowling pin, right? Yep, bowling pin. No dinosaur. Why can't I have a dinosaur? I mean, aside from the fact that they're extinct, which would probably be an issue, I would think. My family never lets me have anything. Can't have any dolphins or sharks or elephants or dinosaurs. Hmm. 
I don't think that's fair. Nobody lets me have any fun. I'm totally not looking for anything. I'm just looking at all the cool stuff. Let's see. Towels, drum, snake, light bulb. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just saw the light bulb like two seconds ago. Where was it? I hate it when that happens. Nope, I'm not going to find it again. Uh, fish, spray bottle, microphone. Wait, I found a microphone. Oh no, I did the same thing with the microphone. No, oh, there it is. In the lamp. Wait, that's a microphone. That's a microphone, right everyone? Right, right there, microphone. Jerk. Uh, what was it? No, the light bulb was not in the lamp. Unless it is. Yes, it is. I apologize. It was, in fact, in the lamp. So is there a different microphone in here somewhere? Is the place bugged? Sheesh, there's clipboard and a fishy. Cheese. Cheese is also delicious. Cheese makes almost everything better. Like, food-wise, not, like, life-wise. Though, cheese does, in fact, make life better on occasion. My friend uh, Garrett has a thing about making stuff better, though. It is the chocolate bacon theory, and it is that anything can be, any food can be made better with the application of either chocolate or bacon. I would say that, oh, there's a dinosaur. Oh, that's a cool dinosaur, too. I would like that dinosaur. Crown, spearhead. That's not a spear, that's a horn. That's a cast mask. Oh, we got spearhead microscope. Oh, I'm looking for a microscope, not a microphone, everyone. I'm sure some of you already knew that because you can read. Right, well then, there's the spray bottle. A microscope is right there. And a saw. I did not saw a saw, I don't think. Oh, there it is. And a spearhead. There's like all kinds of pointy things in here. There's a turtle. My youngest loves turtles. Where is... That's... Oh, there's a hammerhead shark and a thimble. This is not a spearhead, though. That's another horn. Alright, what does it even look like? This time I need to know. Oh, okay, so like an actual spearhead. Like, of the Stone Age variety. I don't think I saw one of those. Wait, there it is. Yep. Oh, there's some actual ones in there, too. Aha! And it's a special item. This looks like it was once the head of a spear or an arrow. It's fashioned from flint and is deceptively sharp. I'm pretty sure spears would have been bigger than arrowheads. Okay, let's do the Garden Pavilion next. The Buckingham Palace Garden was originally designed by Cap Cap Capability Brown, really, but was redesigned along with much of the palace proper by John Nash, with assistance from William Townsend, Aiton, Aiton, Aiton. Hmm. Oh, look, there's Jupiter. All right, let's see. Handrake, weed killer, book, dice. Handrake. There's money. Why is that a dollar? Aren't we in England? Shouldn't it be a pound? Um, I forgot what I was looking for. Weed killer, book, dice. <laughs> There's a beetle in the tree. There's the moon. And Africa. Interesting. This is, of course, going back to the um, older version of... Oh. It's a petroleum-based weed killer. Caution. Flammable. This um, game is very old school. It's 2008. Around, I actually don't know when uh, these started to become a thing, but it, I think 2007 was when I started playing them, though. So it's got to be a little earlier than that. But back in the day, the, the designers just put stuff everywhere. Like, Africa obviously isn't going to be in a tree. That's not a thing. But, it makes it harder to find things. And, it, some of the stuff is hid very sneakily, like that battery there, that's a good spot for that. Is this what I'm looking for? No. Heart, helm, oh I saw the heart. It was right there. 
Helm airplane. Pair. Helm. Like I... What kind of helm are we talking about? There's a weird clown. There's a pineapple grenade. Ooh, there's a crown. Alright, what kind of helm? Oh. A ship's wheel, as in the helm. Not like a hat helm. Alright, last one. Marble Hall. Ooh, how fancy. Directly below the Queen's Gallery, the Marble Hall serves as, a, as the semi-state hub for many of the rooms on the ground floor. It measures over 200 feet long from end to end. But it's carpeted so you can't slide along the marble on your socks. Seems not fun. Ooh, look, a stuffed animal. Na uh, nail file, gorilla, peppermint, beach ball. There's the peppermint. Which I thought was a beach ball out of the corner of my eye. Nail file, gorilla, beach ball, orange. Nail file, a gorilla, huh? There's a gorilla. He little. There's a space shuttle. Uh, beach ball. I can't find the beach ball. There it is. Chair. Just like a chair. Yep, just like a chair. Cocktail shaker, robot, dominoes. There's a dominoes. Oh, they're even set up. That's cute. A robot, huh? Robot. Asterix. Oh, there it is. Weird. Kettle, trumpet. Kettle. Baster, bust, otoscope. Where's... I think the bust would... Oh, there it is. All the way down the end. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, there's the otoscope. Uh, nail file, cocktail shaker, robot, baster. I assume they mean like a, a, a bulb baster where you squish the um, turkey juices or whatnot. That's the only time I ever use a baster is when we're doing Thanksgiving turkey. And now I don't do it anymore because uh, my lovely husband cooks Thanksgiving turkey because he is super good at it. Of course, he wants to do the non-baster version of turkey and has for a while. Yep, I was right. It was that. Um, he, he wants to deep fry the turkey. Thus far, that has been... Uh, not a thing that happened, but I'm pretty sure eventually he'll get his way and we will have either a fire or a fried turkey Robot. I found a robot Where's the nail file? That's what I was looking for. Long skinny things are the hardest to find in these games because <laughs> I am a butt Hey, I just said that you would probably get to have uh, fried turkey stuff. The problem with fried turkey is I'm afraid that someone will get hurt or set the lawn on fire. That's my basic issues with the uh, concept of frying a turkey. Where is the darn thing? I know! And I also said that that would probably be a thing. Now that we have a bigger yard without trees hanging over um, everything, that makes me a little less uh, apprehensive. The last house, there wasn't really a lot of spots where there was sky over top of somewhere. All right, I'm tired of this. Show me where it is. Oh, please, I never would have found that. A nail file. Someone must have dropped it while passing through the hall. Onto the ceiling. <laughs> okay. Historically, fireplaces seem to be hotbeds for getting rid of troublesome secrets and information. Perhaps this one has something interesting to reveal. Okay. Let's see. So I've got... It's blinking on the wood. Is anything else blinking? What am I supposed to do? Oh, am I supposed to light it on fire? I mean... 
I would assume other people, that's actually pretty smart, would have lit this fireplace before. Ta-da! Like, all you have to do is light the fireplace and then what happens exactly? And then there's a grate underneath. How long would you have to sit there for that much firewood to have disappeared? dissipated. Also, wouldn't it be easier just to move the firewood? There's something in the ash box underneath the grill, but it's both too hot and too heavy to lift without a little help. It's not the plot so much, it's the thought process behind the puzzles. And yes, that is what I'm doing. Shush. Um, again, if I had taken the uh, logs out of the fireplace, it wouldn't be hot. That did it. Say, someone tried to burn this stack of letters a long time ago. From the look of it, makes one wonder when the ash box was last cleaned. I don't think that's how things in the palace work. Wait, how come I didn't get to, like, put the letters together? Or read them? F fitting to find letters of hatred directed at Cromwell in a royal residence. I think I was supposed to read those. Of more interest is who wrote them, the identities of George Aug Augustus Frederick and William Henry seem evident enough, but who is Ms. Morley? Yeah, I definitely. Burnt letters. I definitely was supposed to read these. Okay, let's see what this is. Starting with the one in the top right. Maybe corpulent, but I am not a fool. I see all. My web senses the smallest mayfly and trust when I say to you that is all you are. Return the jewels immediately. Supplicate, supplicate, I think, yourself at my perlant, perlant feet. Keep you blank and pray for mercy. George Augustus, whatever his last name was, I wasn't paying attention. Now the one on the left. Salute and complete. Would thou bring down the reign of such a kraken? Cromwell didn't melt the something are buried with him. Probably jewels. Charles is as ineffectual as those before him and James will be even worse. You must listen to me, Miss Morley. Okay, and then the one in the bottom. An eon of rule beneath the shadow of this secret shame. Something I shall not live to see its resolution. Probably I fear. Yet I lie here confident in the ability of my lovely niece, Victoria. I believe her to be particularly well suited to rule. Perhaps she will have better luck than I in their recovery. Unlike the reviled Lord Protector. I've no wish to be buried with any valuables, save but my darling Sophia's locket. Uh, something Henry. Again, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. So, apparently lots of people are looking for these jewels, but they weren't very well hidden, so they are not looking very, very, uh, deeply. Let's go back to the Victoria Memorial. The memorial features a large statue of Queen Victoria facing northeast. Other sides of the monument feature statues of the Angel of Justice, the Angel of Truth, and Charity. Atop the pinnacle is the Statue of Victory, flanked by two seated figures. The subsidiary figures surrounding the Victoria Memorial were donated by New Zealand in tribute to the Queen. That was nice of them. Let's see, we need a brass winder, whatever that is. I saw the crutch. A sock, which I also saw, but now I forget where it is. Jug nail clippers. A brass winder. Well, if it's brass, it's probably over here, right? Maybe, maybe not. Huh. Oh, that was a teapot. Ooh, look, sushi. Uh, what am I looking for? Sock, jug, nail clippers. Sock, jug, jug. Nail clippers. Those are pliers. Oh, there's a sock. Oh, I saw it. Oh, see, that's European money. I think it's pounds. I actually don't know what pounds look like, so it could be Canadian money for all I know. I'm just a stupid American. 
calculator. Though I would probably know if I'd actually gotten to go to England. But that's not happened yet. Someday, baby. Let's see. Bucket. Stapler. Ring. I see a ring. Oh, there's another crown. Uh, what else? Chef's hat. Oh, wait, that's down here. A funny looking chef's hat, as I've said in previous levels. Let's see. Brass winder spoon ring. Okay. I don't know what a brass winder is still. So let's see if we can. There's the ring. That's a gas mask. I don't know what that is. I think that's part of the statue. Um, there's a spoon. Alright, what's a brass winder? Oh, like a, a key for a, um, a wind-up toy. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, right there. This appears to be the winder for something mechanical. Or a clock. Yep, that's true. I always think of toys first. Toys are fun. Alright, let's do the stagecoach. That's really cool. Understatement is not typical, typically a hallmark of royalty, and nowhere is that more apparent than when viewing the stagecoach. Every square centimeter of paneling is gilded or elaborately painted and painted, and sculptures of cherubs, tritons, and horses protrude from the corners. Yeah, definitely not understated. You are correct. Okay. Crab, scorpion, bottle, yarn. What do we got down here? Yarn. Crab, scorpion, and a bottle. There's a shrimp. There's a crab. There's a puppy. A dead crab. Where has this coach been that it might have picked up a long, dead, dried up crab? Nowhere. That is not a thing. See, this is why I am voicing opinions about this game. That's just silly business. There's a puppy. Okay, I guess I need a cat, though, not a puppy. Orange. Cow skull. Moo. Piggy bank I just saw. My brain is, like, wandering all over the place. There's a trophy. A loot. There's a loot. Crucifix. There's a totem pole. There's a crucifix. A pineapple. A die cushion cat. A walkie talkie. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Hiding from the puppy. I forgot what I'm looking for again. A scorpion bottle telephone cushion die. There's the cushion. I don't think that was going to stop that cart from rolling anywhere. What is that supposed to be? Oh, it's a crown. <laughs> Eventually, I'll uh, remember to look for crowns, too. Oh, there's a scorpion. Royal Coach must have picked this little fella up on one of its trips. It's completely desiccated. I don't think that anyone in charge of the Royal Coach is going to leave desiccated crustaceans and arachnids on it. That does not seem like a thing. Is that a fish? Ooh, what that is. Um, bottle telephone die. Okay, there's the dice. Who's that? That's cool. A uh, bottle and a telephone. Wait, I've seen the telephone like twice. No, no, that's a uh, walkie-talkie. Never mind. There's the bottle. Did I see the phone? Playing through those first couple levels, all of the pictures are like blurring together in my brain. Let's see, what do you look like? Okay, so old... Oh, it's right in front of me. Jeez Louise. It wasn't even hidden. So, let's see. Ballroom? Yeah, let's do the ballroom next. The Victorian ballroom is not only the largest, but is also the most popular public chamber in the palace, eclipsing the throne room in both practical importance and use. It is very spiffy looking, that is for sure. Alright silver ball for some reason oh here we go a small silver ball the coloring is very unique it looks like the moon 
I assume the gold one is, which is the next thing, is going to look like the sun. Probably. I don't see the gold one right off the bat. Okay. Gold ball skateboard boot key. I wonder if you're allowed to skateboard in the palace. Probably not. Yeah, I think that's going to be the sun. Looks Egyptian. That looks like the wings of, like, um, the scarab beetle. Huh. It's a small gold ball made from some kind of crystal and is slightly warm to the touch. That is not crystal. That is 100% metal. Okay, skateboard boot. There's a wheelbarrow, a key, and a spoon. And a crown. Oh, no, that's a prosthetic leg, not a boot. Oh, look. It's the United Kingdom. Or Great Britain? Great Britain. British Isles? Dang it. I never remember. Y'all have too many names for all your land masses over there. Though that might also just be my dyslexia being a jerk. Hey, I clicked on that. Sandals, reflector. I thought that was the reflector, but that's a thermometer. That's reflective, but it's a CD. Ah, it is the British Isles. Ha ha ha. I got it right eventually. Oh, and there's a crown. Uh, let's see. Pencil, bellows, brass knuckles. That's an interesting assortment of items. I thought I saw the pencil. Maybe not. A bellows. Bellows is a cool word. Nope, that's just the bottom of the chandelier. I'm not looking over here. Is there anything over here? Probably. Oh, there's a key. Oh, and there's the bellows. Those are fancy bellows. Let's see. Boot reflector, mallet, horseshoes, pencil. There's horseshoes. A mallet, huh? There's a donut. I'm gonna find all the donuts in all these pictures. Just you wait. Boot reflector pencil. There's the boot. Reflector. You'd think a reflector would be easy to find. Though I guess since nothing's moving, it's not really going to reflect anything, huh? Come on, brain. You got this. I'm not clicking to see what the pencil looks like. That is the stupidest idea that my brain just had. There it is. Speak of the devil. Alright, I have no idea where the reflector is. That is not what I was expecting it to look like. Oh, it's one of these things. Like, doctors used before they had electric lights. I was thinking like a reflector, like a bicycle reflector. The music room. Many famous pianists have graced the brass inlaid walnut piano in the music room. Nice. Which also has the distinction of being the site where the Prince of Wales, the Princess Royal, the Duke of York, and the Prince of and Prince William were christened by the Archbishop of Canterbury. On the piano? I assume near the piano. Not on it. Okay. Ooh, another letter. Let's see if we can find that first. There we go. Secretary General Leland. I have disappointed myself with my slow-witted response to the matter of Cromwell's destruction of the regalia. It is said he melted down the gold, fine and good. It is said he melted down the gold, fine and good. May it salt the soil of his wretched grave. But what then of the gems? They are out they outvalue the gold by several orders of magnitude and should be the focus of our investigation. Damn the gold, find the jewels. George Lewis, is that the first? George Lewis the first, I guess. Again, stupid American, please don't mind me. Okay, telephone, pan flute, gong, siren, potato. That's not a gong, that's a gong. Siren as in the mythical Greek being, or like a woo-woo-woo siren. Here's a monkey. Another dinosaur! 
I'm getting distracted. Ah, it is a siren. Wee woo, wee woo. Yep, exactly. It was a wee woo, wee woo one. Oh no, that's not a pan flute. That's a xylophone. Uh, da -da. There's a pan flute. Wait, did I see an elephant? Because that is one of the things I'm looking for. Elephant! Not allowed to have an elephant. My youngest son tells me we can't have an elephant because we have nowhere to put one. And I say we are just not trying hard enough. Three musical notes. A shovel, a stopwatch, a chimp, found him, a basketball. Do not, wait, is that a basketball? That's not a basketball. That looks like a croquet ball. Um, and pliers. Mm -hmm. What's that? I don't know what that is. Weird. There's a key. Oh, there's a music note. One music note. There's a turkey. Uh, potato. I don't think I, oh, there's a basketball. I think I saw a potato. Oh, is that the potato? That doesn't look like a potato. It's like a washed out bread roll. What are you doing? Shovel. And bandage. I just saw the bandage. Two more musical notes. Oh, look, a broken pencil. Weird. Pliers. There's the other music note. And then I just need one more. There's a hammer. Scissors. Lemons. Oh, there's another musical note. There's a trumpet. Oh, there's pliers. Those look like nice pliers. I like the ones that have the rubber grip. Uh, shovel. There's a machete. That's very much not like a shovel. Except they both have handles, I guess. Alright, what shape are you, shovel? Oh, you're a little sand shovel. I was looking for a big shovel. Ooh, crown. Ha ha ha. There it is. Found him. There are more than 350 clocks and watches in Buckingham Palace, but the freestanding clock cornered in the music room is surely the most intricate of them all. Ooh, that's pretty too. I wonder if that's what it really looks like. Astronomical clock. This remarkable timepiece is a four-sided astronomical clock. Its many dials show the relative positions of the Earth, Moon, and Sun, as well as the positions of the tides at all ports in English colonies. Strangely, however, there are some pieces missing. That would be strange, except since we're in this, uh... Where do I plug this in, I wonder? Oh, there we go. Oh, where, which one do you... Well, I don't know. I am not a big Zodiac person. And you are the sun, and you are the moon. I was right. The Azure Queen, one of the largest blue sapphires in the world. Cool. And it was just sitting in the middle of that clock, and nobody noticed. It's rather surprising how empty the palace is. It probably bustles when the Sovereign is in residence, but now it's a veritable ghost town. Nevertheless, it won't do to get cocky. Surely a mo modicum of stealth, modicum of stealth, is in order. It's still in order. Okay, let's go to the palace garden. The gardens at Buckingham Palace are the largest private gardens in London. They cover over 40 acres and contain over 350 different kinds of wildflowers. Ooh, that would be awesome. I love flowers. All right, let's see. Cucumber, mug, heart, turtle. Cucumber, mug, where's a disc? Heart, turtle. The fox. Cucumber, there's the dinosaur again. Oh, look, there's a little door in the tree. That's cute. That's not a cucumber. That's a squash. Uh, there's a turtle. Let's see. Mug, heart, microphone, teapot. There's the microphone. And it was a microphone this time, not a microscope. A lantern. Is that a lantern? I think that's a, like a motorcycle mask. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. What was I doing? 20 pound note. Dart, circuit board, stapler. You were just like randomly reading stuff. You, you were totally not paying attention to things. 
Is it bad if I start talking to myself when there are other people to be talking to? What is that supposed to be? Oh, that's a razor. No. Well, that's good. I don't know if I should take your word for it, though. I think that chameleon is going to fall. Do I need a chameleon? Oh, I need a caterpillar. Hair pick I just saw. Stapler and a dart. I saw a dart. When you start answering your own rhetorical questions, you might want to seek professional help. Luckily, I already am seeking professional help. I just have to tell the professional help what exactly my problem is. Or what my symptoms are, anyways. I guess they're the ones that tell me what the problem is. I don't see a pound note anywhere. Oh wait, there it is, right in front of me. Oh, I guess that money in the other one was a pound note then. If they got the, uh, I just saw the fan. There it is. If they got it right the first time. A uh, mug, heart, teapot, lantern. Mug, heart, and a dragon. Teapot, lantern. Oh, there's the mug right in front of me. There is a cooked fish of some sort. Uh, oh, there's the lantern and the heart. I guess I wasn't looking there. Where's the teapot? Up, ah, right above the chameleon. The chameleon was distracting me. All right, we already did the garden pavilion, so let's see what we got here. The site of the Buckingham Palace. The site of the Buckingham Palace was originally a mulberry garden planted by King James I with the intent of rearing silkworms. Oh, that's cool. Sadly, they were the incorrect kind of mulberry bushes, and the silk production production failed to take hold. Oh, that's right. Uh, silkworms only eat one specific type of uh, mulberry plant. A packet of seeds. It's a paper packet filled with sunflower seeds. Victoria Seed Company, Giant Avenue, 333... 409 Street. Okay. Uh, eggs. Uh, what else do I need? A bell. Oh, there's the pear. And the helm. A capsule. Hmm. Bell, capsule, rock, funnel, carrots. And a crown. Bell, capsule rock there's the rock oh a pill capsule okay that makes sense Ooh, ground. The tweezers i just saw a picnic basket soccer ball i think something like a soccer ball would be really easy to find there it is a discus thrower i just saw him and a horsey yay all right pliers carrots funnel bell Pliers, carrots, funnel, funnel, bell. There's a clock. We would expect the bell to be here in a normal game, but it is not. Oh, and pliers. I forgot about the pliers. Pliers and a bell. Oh, there's a bell. Ah, the king's writing room again. Again, I... Oh, well, maybe we're sitting at the desk looking at the rest of the room. Because it's kind of important to have a desk if you have a writing room. Let's see. Bottle of wine. Letter. Is that the letter? Aha! Anne. Far be from me to speak ill of your family. Any kin of yours cannot be all bad. But I fear I do not understand their... Strategems? I wish I could see better. I have never done them any harm. It is only by virtue of my skill as a sailor that I return from Tangier at all. The ship your good father-in-law charged me charged to me wasn't fit to cross a lake. And now I am dismissed from my court because he discovered our correspondence. Pray tell you didn't show it to him. For in my mind, I see him searching your quarters while you pace the yard, blissfully unaware. Forgive me, Anne, 
but he is hardly a step up from sauntering Charles. He would be the populace. He wait what? He would have the populace carrying bloody handkerchiefs, screaming of the cult of the martyr. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Perhaps you will see fit to join me next autumn at my little house in St. James. I am having many renovations done. Soon it will be a house fit for a king. John Sheffield, Duke of Buckingham. Is that still like Queen Anne? Seems inappropriate. Oh look, it's Aladdin's lamp. A uh, bottle of wine, glass inkwell, watering can, camera, okay sign uh clothespin vinyl record matches scissors clipboard headphones bishop spray bottle spray bottles down here i remember that one and a gas mask is right there bottle of wine glass inkwell watering can bottle of wine that's not a bottle of wine that's a uh, wine skin or a water skin i guess Headphones. Bottle of wine. Dang it, bucket now. Chateau Le Pied. Expensive stuff, but what would you expect? But would you expect any less? I would expect it not to be lying around somewhere. Also, I, I would expect it to be like at an angle, like they're supposed to be, not sitting straight up. I don't know a lot about wine, but I know that. They always show it like that, so. Let's see. I saw the matches. There they are. Clothes pin. Class inkwell. Is that that? Yes. It's the royal inkwell made from the finest leaded glass, of course. I would expect it would have been a little bit more elaborate if that was the royal inkwell. All right. Okay sign. Aha. Uh -huh. That's got some interesting issues these days. Uh, let's see. Watering can. Up oh, right there. I knew I saw it. And camera. Ah, the Chinese Chippendale. We've been in this room once before, too. It was all the rage in the 19th century to import Eastern furniture to England. It added a refreshing bit of exotic flavor to a room, especially when juxtaposed against the overused Greek and French architecture of the time. Yeah, I, I can see that. All right, let's see. Bird feeder, corkscrew, calculator, helmet. Bird feeder, corkscrew, calculator, helmet. Bird feeder? No. Okay, what else? Seahorse. I just saw the seahorse. Who? All right. My voice is dying. Actually, my voice was dying before I started talking, so. I just need all of the plants to die, that's all. But no one will let me take a flamethrower to our yard, so I exist as best I can. I don't see why plants have such a issue with me. I never had an issue with them. Mask. A pitcher, ship in a bottle. Shippings and bottles are cool. I would think it'd be cool to have one, but my children would probably destroy it. Is that the helmet? Yep. I don't see the pear. There's peaches. A pear seahorse corkscrew bird feeder. There's a seahorse. I knew I saw it. Is that the bird feeder? That's a cool bird feeder. It appears to be an extravagant Chinese bird feeder, minus the feed. That's a Chinese bird feeder? Huh. Okay. Take your word for it. Corkscrew pear. That's not a pear. That's a hermit crab. Those two things are very different. There's the pear. All right. Now the corkscrew. What kind of corkscrew are we looking for? Aha! That kind. It's a simple corkscrew. Okay, this is a very weird selection of items. I'm not entirely sure why we need these. There's a kingfisher's bird nest, bird's nest, high in the boughs that seems to have been construction with man-made materials. It might be revealing to take a closer look at it. 
Okay. Uh, so I guess we're hanging up the bird feeder somewhere. I guess I should look to see where I need to put it first. Ah, here we go. There we go. And then we put the sunflower seeds in. The bird feeder buffet is ready to open its doors to the public. Do kingfishers eat sunflower seeds? The nest should not be disturbed while the kingfisher is still in it. Should I douse it with wine? Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for my little thing to turn colors. Like a worm or something? What do kingfishers even eat? I have an ink bottle. Do I want to put the wine in the ink bottle? No, I don't think so. Okay, I do want to do that. Whoops, the bottle dropped. That's a shame. It looked expensive. <laughs> All that's left is the cork on the end of the corkscrew. The cork squeaks against the glass. It sounds like chirping. Well, I never would have figured that out on my own. The kingfisher... The kingfisher, it came for the call, but stayed for the feast. I I don't think that's how things work in reality. Let's take a look at the bird's nest. Ah, it's made of paper that has it disintegrated in the rain. It appears to be several pieces of a typewriter letter. The kingfisher sure found some interesting nesting material. Weird. Time to undo the hard work of the kingfisher. Surely he can gather more nesting materials from the palace grounds. Okay. Um. Aha, there we go. Okay, I do have to line it up right. That's fine. I wasn't sure where the edge was. somewhere yeah probably. probably here yep I bet that goes there then yep the puzzles in this game are cool but the physics doesn't make a lot of sense like if a bird made a nest out of paper which I'm pretty sure they don't I'm pretty sure it would have melted or disintegrated rather I don't know, does paper melt? I guess it kind of melts. Alright, where's the last piece? Okay. Secretary to the Prince Regent. From Senior Messenger Sergeant David Fellows. Sir, this missive is sent in regard to the AM letters that have, in recent weeks, been the subject of conversation by various members of the monarchy. Based on the content and timing, I and my staff believe them to be nothing more than a fraudulent attempt to extort money or other favors by some miscreant with political leanings. We... Oops. Sorry, I clicked off. Let's see. We believe the initials AM stand for... Anti Meridium, a poor pun indicating the author is in mourning. Okay. Perhaps these letters are retribution for the death he holds Her Majesty's government responsible for. Or perhaps he is simply a disgruntled public servant with poor advancement prospects, unhappy with his minor post. We have also investigated the secret tunnel referred to near the Admiralty Arch, and after a thorough search, have found no such passage. Really? There was a nose there. All you had to do was tickle the nose. We accept this as for further proof that AM's claims have no basis in fact. Yours hum in humble servitude, Senior Messenger Sergeant David Fellows. Yeah, a little far-fetched, but what can you do, right? The letter from Sergeant Fellows was suspect to say the least. A team of yeomen couldn't find the passageway? It wasn't that cleverly hidden. I agree. He also declined to mention that the letter sent for analysis was suspiciously lost along the way. 
And why would he have reprimanded his subordinate so harshly if he didn't believe A.M.'s letters were genuine in the first place? I don't know. All good questions. Back to the stagecoach. Um, yeah, I think after the stagecoach, we will end for the night because I need to go to bed because I, I just got tired. So let's finish this level and then we will stop for the evening. It's remarkable that a horse stable can smell this good. It's as if the horses know they are in the presence of royalty. That is not how horses work. All right, let's see. Candle stip, rubber ducky, pitcher dog. There's the doggo. I saw the rubber ducky too. Yep. Let's see. Pitcher. Um, magnet glove. Oh, I saw the magnet. Glove. Tambourine. Dagger. Oh, I saw the dagger. Yarn. Cow skull. Hand drill, shoehorn, traffic light I saw too. There we go. Why is the red at the bottom? Weird. Shoehorn, bicycle helmet, walkie-talkie. The walkie-talkie is right there. Okay, so candlestick, pitcher, glove, tambourine. Candlestick, pitcher, glove, tambourine. Candlestick, pitcher. Ooh, there's crown. Glove. Candlestick. Hand drill, shoehorn. Oh. An intricately, intri mm -hmm. intricately designed candlestick. It looks like one from a set of many. Yeah, definitely time to stop soon. My mouth is starting to not listen to me. Hand drill, shoehorn, bicycle helmet. Hand drill, bicycle helmet. There's a gas mask. Oh, there's a shoehorn. I knew I'd seen it. Bicycle helmet. I don't think I saw a bicycle helmet. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, definitely time for bed. It's 11.30 at night here, and I am getting to be a lightweight. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four more gems to find. This will be one, and then I guess there's three more. It does seem to be that there's one gem per group of levels. Um, though the number of rooms goes up with each level, which is interesting. So we might have another good hour, hour and a half left of this game, depending on if it saves my game this time. <coughs> I'm not bitter. I swear. All right, so there you have it. That is our game for today. I, I really like these games. Um, the older ones. I think we're definitely going to do the next one. I, I played um, I played the Civil War game. It is a year older than this one, and there is twice as much reading. It was interesting, but I don't think I'm going to do that one. I don't remember what the next one is. Wait, let me think. Um, I think it's Titanic. Actually, I can check that. You know what? Let me, let me quit out of here first. Yes, quit. Okay, the first one's Civil War. That one I played, but I don't think we're going to do that uh, Let's Play of that one. Um, Buckingham Palace is the one we're on now. And then the next one is Fateful Voyage Titanic. I think there's a couple Titanics in here. And that one is from 2010. So we'll see if that one is similar to this one or if they have like a different setup to it. But we have to finish the first one first. And we also have the other... Um, more Haunted Hotel games, which are always fun and exciting. And what was the other one? Yep, so that's me for tonight, or today, or whenever it is you're watching this. Tonight for me. And uh, I am Fate Touch, and I will see you later. Bye!